Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. If you like men's fragrances and unisex fragrances, top 10 lists, full and depth reviews and first impressions, you turned into the right fragrance channel. Don't forget to show your support if you're new here by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video if you like this type of fragrance content or like to see more of it on YouTube. And don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new fragrance videos like this and giveaway announcement videos as well. You'll be first in line. So before the video starts, ladies and gentlemen, what's your scent of the day? Leave a comment down below. Today's video is going to be my top five most expensive fragrances. So I have a lot of fragrances. You guys know me. I've been doing YouTube for about five years now, and I have over 940 fragrance videos on my channel. First impressions, full and depth reviews, top 10 lists, so on and so forth. But these are ones that I may not have talked about as much. So what are your top five expensive fragrances, whether designers niche? Leave your list down below. Before the video starts, I want people to understand that you don't have to buy expensive fragrances. This is what I like to buy with my money. I don't buy a big thing of shoes. I don't buy big watches, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I kind of keep it to myself and I love wearing my fragrances. That's pretty much it. So I would say 10 to 15% of my income when I have some money after paying all the bills, I buy me a fragrance or two. That's what I do with my money. All these fragrances were paid for my hard earned money. There were no discounts. There were no sponsorships. I bought these bottles myself. So please keep that in mind before watching this video. Number five fragrance is from the house of Dior, my favorite brand, Christian Dior. This fragrance is amazing. So this fragrance is from the Privé line, a La, a La Privé collection line. This fragrance smells amazing. So this fragrance here has notes of orange, has notes of bergamot, there's rum, there's vanilla, there's praline, there's cacao. This fragrance is a, is a fresh, citrusy opening with the vanilla. And this is an easy vanilla to wear in the warmer months. Heck, you can wear it as a signature scent all year round, which I said in my full review. I'll leave that video down below. I think I did a video with Steven from Red Lessons. Shout out to Steven. This fragrance you can wear dressed up or dressed down. Now this is expensive because it's gonna run you about 260 for a 125 ml bottle like this. This will last you a long time. What I mean by that is you can do two or three sprays, you're good to go. You don't have to overspray this fragrance. Unless it doesn't perform on your skin, then by all means go ahead. My friend Louisiana Fragrance has a bottle of this. He loves it. My friend Jerome as well. He enjoys fragrance as well. Jerome, you gotta get yourself a bottle of Vanilla Dua Rama. I know Rose Trafalgar, he said performance wasn't good. You gotta get Vanilla Dua Rama, straight fire. But this is a fragrance that even if you're a man or woman, anybody could wear it. Now, I do pick up that boozy feeling of fragrance as well. So some people might think it leans more masculine. A woman or, a woman or a guy could wear this fragrance. It's from the house of Christian Dior. Most of their fragrances are unisex fragrances based. So a man could wear it or, or a guy could wear it. Performance, you're gonna get easy eight hours in your skin. You might get more, but eight hour mark, push it for I wanna say the first hour and a half to maybe two hours, depending on your skin chemistry. Vanilla fragrance that you can wear all year round. It's not gonna offend people in the summer. Now I would tone down the sprays for summer, maybe one or two sprays, but you can easily wear this all year round as a signature scent. And it's vanilla with some citruses and some booziness. Definitely check out Vanilla De La Rama by the house of Christian Dior. Number four fragrance is from the house of Lil Beau. This is Bergamot 22. What can I say about this fragrance? This fragrance is amazing. If you want a fresh fragrance, this is a fragrance for you. This has notes of bergamot, grapefruit, vetiver, cedar, vanilla, pedigree. Oh my God, this is an amazing fragrance. You want a very refreshing, amazing citrus fragrance to wear all year round, this is your signature scent. It's expensive, yes, it's, it's around 198. Let's just say with taxes, look, looking over $200 for a 50 ml bottle. It is expensive, yes. This is a very overly high, concentrated, one of the best citruses out in the game besides Zerzhoff Neo. This is takes the cake. If you want the, one of the best fresh fragrances that money can buy, and you're not on a budget, and you don't want to wear designer fragrances, step up to this right here. You're gonna love it. Even if you're not a big fan of fragrances, and you want a fresh fragrance to wear all year round, this is the key. This is the best one out in the game. This fragrance is fire, it's amazing. My friend Jerome likes this one as well. He knows this fire as well, because every time we go to the mall, he always wants to spray a little bit on his skin. <laughs> He's like, Chris, this fragrance is fire, man, but that price is too much. 
<laughs> I understand. This is a fragrance that is very refreshing with the bergamot. Okay, so you get that citrus opening in the pop, which lasts and lasts on this fragrance for a good up to six hours. You're gonna get some pedigree as well in the fragrance. Okay, you're gonna get some vetiver, give green touch to it as well. It's a very fresh citrus, a little bit of green with the vetiver fragrance. You can wear this anytime, dressed up or dressed down. It's a spray and go fragrance. You don't need many sprays, maybe three max and you can go out the day and rest assured you're going to get six hours maybe seven hours of longevity i get six but some people i know get seven or eight depending on your skin but it's a refreshing fragrance that is not going to offend anybody at all my girlfriend i'm sorry my fiance kelly loves this fragrance as well she's like she loves it. it's amazing i had a hard time between buying this first and buying sansel 33 i love sansel 33 but she wasn't the biggest fan of it so i'll buy a bottle in the future but this is amazing fresh fragrance, one of the best citruses on the planet, next to Zerzhoff Neo. So definitely check out Bergamot 22, you won't regret it. Number three fragrance from the house is Zerzhoff. This is Zerzhoff, this is Kobe. Lost the words for Kobe, I love this fragrance. If you like the note of Neroli and Pettigrain, you will fall in love with this fragrance. If you love Neroli and Pettigrain and never smell Zerzhoff, boy, you're missing a lot. Man or woman, you're missing a lot. Beautiful bottle presentation as well. Sprayers are amazing. You don't need a lot of sprays with this fragrance here. So it opens up very fresh and juicy with that Neroli and Pettigrain. You're gonna love the way this smells. If you like the note of Neroli, you're gonna love this. I know if people like Tom for Neroli Portofino, that's great. This is three times better. Performs on the skin, it lasts and lasts and lasts. The price point is expensive. It's around 275 for a 50 ml bottle, I know. It's very expensive. I wish they had 100 mil for that price because this is something you can rock all year round. Cater more to the warmer months like spring and summer, but since it's so refreshing with the pedigree and the rolly feel in the fragrance, you can rock this all year round. Now, this is expensive, so you might want to wear it more dressed up, like to a board meeting at work, um, maybe to um, an anniversary with your significant other. Maybe you're going to a friend's wedding or something like that, or amazing date with your significant other, maybe a, a five-star restaurant. This is amazing scent. Put it on your Sunday best outfit. This is amazing scent. It means business. Going to project very loudly. You will get noticed. Now, I'm not saying you'll get comments, so pump the brakes, stop the brakes, but you will smell amazing with this fragrance here. I bought it at Perfumology. If you want to get yourself a sample first, because it is expensive, check out any Zerzhoff they have there. They have a lot of Zerzhoff at Perfumology. I'll leave the website down below. Reach out to my boy Near Guy, he's the owner, or slash Brian, they'll take care of you. Tell them you saw this video from Casual Fragrance. They got you covered, man. Near will help you out with any amazing fragrances niche-wise at Perfumology, including Zerzhoff and including Rouge Parfum. But definitely check out uh, Zerzhoff Kobe if you want amazing Neroli and Pettigrain based fragrance. Slight little bit of oud. The oud is very subtle. You don't really pick it up that much. You get a, you get a nice bit of taco bean to dry down. You'll love the way this smells on you. I guarantee it. Number two fragrance is Funny House of Creed. This is Creed Aventus Cologne. I love this fragrance. My bottle is literally almost empty, ladies and gentlemen. I, I use that much. I bought this bottle at full retail for $335 when it came out. I'm sorry, I think it was like 325. I powered 325 when it first came out. I went to the Creed uh, event. They invited me um, to come to the Creed uh, event in New York City. So it was me, Max Forte. He's an amazing fragrance viewer as well. Stephen Ferretta Lessons, rest in peace. Carlos, Brooklyn fragrance lover. Uh, my friend Solano was there as well. Um, Joe for NYC was there. A bunch of fragrance reviewers were there. And this fragrance smelled amazing. And I love this better than Creed Aventus. I would wear this fragrance 10 out of 10 times over Creed Aventus. It's so refreshing with that opening of the mandarin, that nice citrus opening pop. There's some ginger, pink pepper, vetiver. There's tonka bean and musk, but I get more musk in the dry down. You get a birch feel, so you kind of get a little bit of that Creed original DNA. This is way more fresher. It doesn't have that fruitiness like some of the old batches of Creed or with that heavy pineapple feel. You get a Creed event this vibe, but this one here is amazing spring and summer fragrance. Shout out to my boy Matt from Georgia Gent. He loves this as well. He got me on a hype for it. He said, Chris, you gotta try this out. So luckily I was invited to a Creed event. They sent me an email saying, hey, you wanna come to the event? You know I'm gonna come there. You know, I tried out for the first time. I love that first smell. I have, there's like a slightly minty feel in the fragrance, but they don't list mint as a note. This is amazing, guys. You really need to get your nose on this fragrance. I'm not saying you should buy a Creed fragrance. I'm saying is get your nose on it. You'll thank me later. It's an amazing fresh fragrance for the spring and summer. 
And I know a lot of people, including Louisiana Fragrance, he loves this. He has a 100 mil, so I'm kind of upset that I don't have a 100 mil bottle because I wouldn't be empty now. But this is a full bottle backup worthy for me. I got to buy one. But this is amazing fresh fragrance, a Sprango fragrance. Performance is okay. It's average. It's in that, I want to say five to six hours. It pushes for the first hour. That's it. But the people that smell it for that first hour, I've got a lot of comments wearing this fragrance. And I'm like, huh? For a Creed Aventus cologne, it does the job. Women and women and men like this fragrance. So definitely check out this fragrance if you want a very refreshing fragrance for the spring and summertime. This is one of the best fresh fragrances from the house of Creed. This is Creed Aventus cologne. My number one fragrance is from the house of Chanel. I know, right? Chanel is number one. This is Chanel Less Exclusive 1957. If you know me, this fragrance is straight fire. I did, a, I did a first impression on this video a couple years back. I had a little sample and I said, you know what? Later down the road, I'm gonna buy me a bottle if I get some money and work overtime. Bought this bottle, guys, I loved it. Funny story, I wanted to buy the 75 mil. The lady told me they had it available and then they had this bottle available. I said, okay, I'll go there and pick it up. They didn't have either one available. I was pissed off going to the mall, right? Nevertheless, long story short, next day, they had a website, I bought the big bottle. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna buy the big bottle, I love it that much. This is expensive, so keep that in mind. This bottle here's gonna run you uh, $400 for a 200 ml bottle. Relax, I got it for $350 before Chanel upped their prices of this year of 2022. I let my friend Jerome smell it, he loves the way this one smells. He's like, it smells very refreshing. And I said, yes, it's very refreshing. It's like a, I, I feel like a laundry detergent, kind of clean linen vibe. Fragrance here, I'm sprayed on my skin. I love the magnetic cap. I spray it on my skin. Love the sprayers. Man, it smells so good. It has notes of bergamot, aldehyde, pink pepper, coriander, white musk, cedar, orris, vanilla, and honey. This fragrance is very refreshing. So to me personally, you, it opens up with a very nice freshness with the outer highs in the fragrance. There's the bergamot, there's some pink pepper, a little bit of uh, spices in the fragrance as well. This is one you can dress up or dress down. This fragrance, I haven't had anybody that was offended by it. Most people say, oh, you smell nice today. You smell very fresh, very crisp today. Like, oh, I thank you. Like, it's one of those fragrances that it doesn't reach out very loudly, but you're gonna catch wafts of this throughout the day. This is a fragrance that sometimes I feel like I only get six hours, but then sometimes I'll be walking around, I can smell it seven, eight hours later. Where it's like, it'll just come back like, boop, I catch whiffs of it. When I'm walking around or I'm talking to somebody, I catch whiffs of it. And it's like, it smells so amazing, guys, from the house of Chanel. And you know, I'm, I'm not sitting here and saying Chanel's the best brand. You know I love Dior, but my God, this fragrance smells amazing. I love it that much. And I always overspray this one because it smells so refreshing with the outer highs, the pink pepper, the musk. It's just an amazing fragrance. I think the best way I had to put it was, say you just um, gonna put your clothes in the dryer and you have them little little balls, a little thing to make it smell better with the fabric softener. A very rich, high quality fabric softener, I would say or a very fresh, clean type of soap. It smells that rich to me and I love wearing this one, guys. Now, I'm not saying you gotta buy the, the 200 ml bottle because you probably got a lot of fragrances at home in your collection or you don't wanna break the bank with this. Definitely, you can get a 75 ml, it's gonna run you about 250. Definitely go to the, of the Chanel Boutique and try it on your skin before because you may not like it as much as I do. I love wearing this one, guys. You can wear this one dressed up or dressed down. Now, performance for me, I got like six, seven hours, but I feel like you can get eight or nine. I feel like it's one of the that you might go nose blind to it after a couple hours. You may not smell it, but people around you will smell the fragrance. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Some fragrances, um, give you the old factory boutique where you can't smell it anymore after a couple hours, but man, even six hours I get, I love the way this one smells. It's hard to say the name about the fragrance set for the price tag. Now, this was a hundred bucks, it'll be a steal. People will be buying it left and right. That's how amazing it smells. I love wearing this fragrance. It's more dressed up than casual because it is a heavy, heavy, heavy penny, but nevertheless, go to your Chanel boutique, spray it on your skin, and see if you like the fragrance and thank me later. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I would appreciate that. Like the video and click the bell icon so be notified for future upload videos like this and giveaway announcements as well. What are your top five expensive fragrances, designers or niche or mix and match? Leave your comment down below. Be safe everyone. 
Me and Kelly care about all you guys around the world, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.